We start with talks between the leaders of South Korea and the United States. Speaking for the first time since North Korea fired a missile over Japan, Presidents Moon and Trump agreed to revise the two countries' bilateral missile treaty, capping the development of South Korea's ballistic missiles, as Seoul had hoped to do. They also agreed to exert the strongest sanctions and pressure on the regime to bring them back to the negotiating table. Our Kim Hyun-bin starts us off. South Korea's presidential office at Cheongha Day revealed on Saturday President Moon Jae-in and his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump held telephone talks on Friday, three days after Pyongyang launched an intermediate ballistic missile over Japan. The two leaders pledged to continue applying strong diplomatic and economic pressure on the regime and take necessary preparations to deter and defend against North Korea's growing threats. They also reaffirmed their view to peacefully resolve North Korea's nuclear issue and apply maximum sanctions on the regime to bring them back to the dialogue table. President Moon denounced North Korea's recent missile launch over Japan. He called it a serious provocation that violated UN Security Council resolutions, adding that it raised military tensions in the region. President Trump put emphasis on sending a strong and clear message to the regime. The two leaders also agreed to revise South Korea's missile guidelines to better counter North Korea's missile threats. South Korea wants to increase its missile payload to one ton from the current 500 kilograms to better counter North Korea's missile capabilities. Kim Hyun-bin. Arya News.